I mean, it's so there's there's Red Bull cliff diving. I have a lot of friends that do the Red Bull cliff diving. I've you know I even have talked to them before, and I've you know considered you know trying to go for the whole Red Bull cliff diver dream. And I have a lot of friends who are doing that, and it's mm-hmm. awesome. It's really cool what they do. But um, you know, at the same time, for me, my joy doesn't come from the competition of it. Um, it comes from the exploration and the, you know, just like being outside, being in nature and just really enjoying myself and taking it all in, you know? Yeah. And the rebel cliff diving is awesome, like I said, but, you know, it's just, it's already at such a high level that if I was, you know, I have, I would have to probably, you know, get a few more dives in to, you know, to be able to get a good list to even really compete and, if you know if i do compete i would be like you know last place you know it's like it's the bar and, of and entry can, is so the high the bar of entry is so high and it's also the other part about it that is um what i like about what i do is that i'm always jumping off different cliff heights you know there's rarely mm. two cliffs that are the same exact height you mm-hmm. know like on yeah. the dot you know it's like always a little different the water is always different and the, you know they'll they'll go to different spots when they do the Red Bull thing, um, but it's generally some of the same ones, and they're all epic. Like, don't get me wrong, but you know my whole thing about it is kind of like trying to find these new places that maybe no one's jumped before, or you know just kind of pushing the limit of how high I can go because a lot of you know the Red Bull cliff diving height is right at ninety feet, which is huge you know that's i'm very uncomfortable talking is, about it <laughs> that is 90 will break you for yeah, sure you dude. have to know what you're doing yeah. pretty much anything over like 50 you know but you know i like kind of pushing the boundaries and k- seeing what else is possible and the guy that i was working for dana kunzi um with the high diving shows he is an incredible dude he's um basically he's like a seven or eight time world record holder for the highest dive ever done. Whoa. Wow. And so like, and it was like 172 feet. What? Oh yeah. God. I'll yeah. be honest. That's about 30 feet higher than I thought humanly possible. Yeah. That's no, I unreal. think it's, it's right up there near what is possible, but I think, I think it could be possible to be done higher. But was that like into a waterfall or just no, flat that water? was, that was flat water. That was into sea world, <laughs> Florida, I believe which is 50 degree salt water, which is yeah. salt water is more dense than normal water. So it was like dense, you know, obviously yeah, when you're hitting it, sure. you don't want more dense, you want less dense. Yeah. And it, it was cold, which I don't know if chemically speaking or, you know, like yeah, if that changes, if that it, changes the physiology of it or anything. But that's crazy. But yeah. And so that was, and he ripped it. He, he, I mean, I think he might've like slightly injured his knee, like barely, but he walked out clean. And then they had like other people try to go higher. There was a guy who went like 176 and he got hurt. 178, that guy like broke his back, but he like landed totally. Yeah, wrong, just something you went know? wrong. And so then just like a, f- just a feet to feet or? the Those guys were flips up to 178, I think. Um, <laughs> some sort of flip, you know? That's the, so nuts. Yeah, my, the guy that I worked for, he did a triple gainer up. 172. Why not? <laughs> You're so high. Like, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> but You're basically then, base jumping at that point. Oh yeah, I've done fr- I've I have friends that do lower base jumps than that than That's what I've jumped. So crazy. But um the guy Dana that I worked for, he you know kind of paved the way for that. He was doing it since he was like 13 or 14. But um the there's a guy that did it with like Red Bull where I think they might have considered it a world record, but it doesn't really count because of a few reasons. First of all, because the highest dive has to be something that's a rotation. So it can't just be a straight jump. You have to okay. at least rotate a half of a flip, you know, to okay, make it count, sense, yeah. you know, but you wouldn't want to dive head first from that high. Obviously you'd want to land on your yeah. feet. But, um, the guy that did it from Red Bull just did a straight jump and it was like 193 <sighs> and he like broke his femur or hip or something and they injured his back he wasn't able to get out on his own which that's like should be rule that has always been the rule but i think guinness might have given it to him anyway yeah they're just like dude i'm sorry that (laughs) you did that and you're permanently broken wow so we'll see i think one day it could be broken do you think 200 is possible i don't know another seven it would have to be the right place i think 
I guess it, it yeah. definitely there's like, you know, if you're jumping into a waterfall, into the white water of a waterfall, it's going to be the softest water that you can jump in, basically. Like if you've seen in Olympic diving, yeah. like when they dive off like the 30 foot platforms, um, they sometimes they'll turn on a switch under like the pool bubbler. and they have a huge bubbler to make it not hurt as much if you smack. So if you land into a waterfall where there's something like that at the bottom and there's a few spots, I've been just, you know, having my eye on it. It's going to be a little while before I would ever yeah. maybe attempt something like that. Um, but, you know, there's it, it would definitely be possible more so into something like that. Into flat water, I don't think you could do yeah. that. 